Ah, the question everyone wants answered. Who is better, Zach Wilson or Mike White? There's one thing I want to say to preface all of this, and that is we will all know who is better and who has the better career in time. So I do, I do want to say before anybody gets up and in the in the comments, so you're not really doing this, but I can visualize you doing it, putting your finger out and saying, I know that this is the better quarterback. Be careful, because the truth is you don't. It's called an opinion. You have an opinion. You don't know. You're sitting there in your house, you're on your couch, drinking beer during the Jet games. You don't know. There are people making more money than you, you will ever make in your life, me too, that we wish we had their money, we wish they had their success, that are much smarter than us, and they don't know. So how can you? Now, you might end up being right. You might say, Zach Wilson's better, and he's going to prove it, and you might be right. But, you, but that doesn't mean you knew. It doesn't. It means that it's either going to be one of those two players, if we're talking about White and Wilson, one of them is going to prove to be better. And some people who chose that person, when it reveals itself, will be the ones that opinions were right. But you never knew. You only had an opinion because it hadn't happened yet. It's like sitting there in Vegas, you put your money on red, it comes out red. I knew it. No, you didn't. You gambled. Now, I'm not saying it's pure chance. I'm not saying your eyes mean nothing. I'm just saying, if you really knew, though, you'd be a GM and you'd be making a lot more money. Because out of the 32 GMs in the, in the NFL, most of them don't know especially at the quarterback position. It's really hard to know. But let's get into this. And let's also remember that two things could be true at the same time. What can be true at the same time is that right now, at this moment, Mike White is a better quarterback than Zach Wilson. It could also be true. I doubt it. But I know one guy out there that would tell you, Strevler. Dum dum ha is the best quarterback out there. Now, I think the way we've seen Mike White play very recently versus the last we saw of Zach, it's fair to say. I mean, it's not crazy, even if you disagree with it. You can't call the other person nuts for saying that Mike White at this very moment is the better quarterback. It can also be true. That even if Mike White at this moment is the better quarterback, that in a year from now, it won't even be close and Zach will be far the better quarterback. That can also be true. It can. It might just click for Zach Wilson. His fundamentals might come back into play. He might come back humbled, different attitude, seeing the field better. And I'm not saying that's going to happen. But I'm saying that it can, and it has. Don't ask me. It's hard to give an example when it's been this bad. But it, it's happened. It's happened. Guys have been bad their first 20 games of their career in every position, including quarterback, and come back and have been very successful. So who's the better quarterback, Mike White or Zach Wilson? Well, it depends who you ask, and it depends on when. Are you talking about... In 10 years, looking back at it all, or 15 years, looking back at it all, are you talking about right now at this moment, who should be playing? Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I agree that Mike White should be playing. I agree that Mike White, from what I saw in Minnesota and what I saw in Chicago, is clearly throwing the ball better. Not perfect. It's not great, but it's better then Zach Wilson is throwing the ball. So, because Mike White's misses are by inches and we're complaining. You know, he, he, oh, if it was six inches, it was a touchdown to Garrett Wilson changes the game. But it was literally on a deep pass six inches, whereas Zach is throwing the ball in the dirt 
five yards behind the play before, like in front of the player. So that doesn't mean that Zach will never get over that. It means that some people say he has the yips. I'm not really sure what the yips are. I just know that Zach Wilson might get better because I've seen him play better. Lots and lots of footage of him playing better and throwing a football very well. So I think the real answer is, or the real conclusion of all this, is we have to just go with the better quarterback each week. And then at the end of the year, again, if we can sign someone that the money is right and it works, we can do that. Or if we believe in the guys that we have, we can do that. We just got to go week to week. And I think Sal is clearly doing that because he's laughing at them. When they say, do you think Mike White could end up being the guy? And Salah is saying, ho, 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 you guys. He doesn't want to answer it. And I think the reason he's not answering it is because he doesn't know. He just knows that they believe very heavily in Zach Wilson. They invested a lot in them. And they're not ready to say he's done. But they're also not going to sit there and say that Mike White is going to come out and be benched if he's playing incredible football. Mike White has an opportunity. A lot of people say this is going to be the end of Mike White against Buffalo. It also might be the rise of Mike White because it's an opportunity. But no matter what happens, no matter who the quarterback is, I got one thing to say. I don't care. Go Jets. If you hit the little bald guy over here, hit it right there, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to. Or you could watch another video right here and subscribe. You could hit the like button. You could do all these great things if you like the video. If you don't, you don't. You don't. I get it. It's okay. I'm not for everyone. I'm not everybody's taste. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But again, go Jets.